Now we come to the SQL loader. And if you would say, SQL loader? <laughs> Wasn't this like the Dark Ages? The Middle Ages? Yeah, sort of. But the SQL loader has one real, real big benefit. It loads the data directly into the autonomous instance without the detour over the object storage. And it's very, very simple. So the SQL loader is highly configurable. Whenever you need to script something, let's say you have a production site, you get like quality data every day from your machines, and you get huge CSV files, and you just programmatically script that and upload them with the loader into your autonomous instance. That is one of the typical use cases where this makes so much sense. And it can even transform your data. So it loads from a local file, CSV or text. It's not very flexible in terms of what it can access, but it can do a lot of things with your data. And I'll show you that example here. So in this case, we have the album CSV. So you see, this is the file with an ID, then a connection to the bands table, the album title, and also the year. So I access my autonomous instance here via Metal High, specify my password, create my table. I need to pre-create that, yes. It doesn't create by the uh, loader. And now I run the loader to Metal High with the table, every, into the table albums, with the CSV file albums, and then I kick it off, password, and go. And it really runs that fast. We didn't speed that up. So just going directly into it, 28,069 records. Let's choose, uh, let's check the log file. Everything seemed to be loaded successfully, no errors. That is good. Let me quickly access the data. So log in again to my instance. Quick query, just first 10 rows, data is there. That looks cool. And this is really, really fast. 